Ahoy and welcome back to the studio, to the studio, Rob Roy. So we're coming to the end of this graphic novel project and one of the last pieces of illustration that we planned to do was the front cover. So the idea being that there was going to be the hand that reaches for the moon with the scar and the hand would form the shape of the tree. So we can see what goes into the idea for the front cover with all of the sketchbook work and the thumbnails and then the research into what makes a good comic book cover. So that was all of the information that I'd researched there. So we are starting again with the blue graphite pencil and we're looking at the roughs and we're looking at the ideas for the cover and we're mapping out the size of the graphic novel comic book itself. Uh, so we're using a photo for photo reference of the hand. We're not tracing, nothing wrong in that either, but so we're trying to get the shape of the hand. And if you were to reach out for the moon, your hand would look something like that. So it's quite an expressive shape on the hand and it's reaching and the arms reaching. And at the tip of the finger, there would be the scar and that would go down the arm. You can see my early Last of Us 2 tattoo there. So that's the blue graphite and we're just finishing off some little bits ready for the traditional inks. Uh, funnily enough, this cover didn't make it. I'll explain why later. I ended up over a weekend illustrating three covers and the third one finally got it right. And the problems with this one, after I did it, was it was too detailed with the inking, with the rendering. And there was nowhere really to put the text for the front cover. The light that was too bright. Beautiful title, but it's a long title. So there was just nowhere to put it and I tried putting it across the hand and the tree up the top. And it just wouldn't work, so in the end, changed my mind and started all over again, which is something that um, I do quite a lot. It's particularly on this project, I mean some sequential art pieces have been redrawn at least three times just so that you get it right in the end until you're happy with it. And why not if you've got the time and you're not on a budget, then go for it, redo it. I mean this hasn't been a complete waste of time, it's made a great little video and it can always be used as a variant cover. So we're going to lay down the water first before the watercolours. I found this technique works much better. I did try watercolours straight on dry on paper, which is fine, you can do that. But the, uh, the paint just does its own thing when it goes into the water and just collides and makes these amazing textures, which I love, which is what I'm after. Texture is one of the main things that I'm after with my work texture, shape, and energy. So we're laying down a strip of blue, which will also have continuity on the back cover, which will also be a blue strip of sky. And because we've put the water down first, that is just blocking in lovely. So one of the things perhaps I shouldn't have done, I've laid the whole tree hand down in blue as well, which kind of made it a little bit too dark. And you'll see how that progresses. A different, lighter, more metallic blue going on now for the scar, for the lightning bolt scar, tip of the finger, right down. And you can see the heart shape there, which Lux and Lucia engraved into their favorite tree. So skin tone again, we're putting down the yellow. And that's going to dissolve, look, into the paper and the rest of the paint and the water really smoothly, really nicely. And then when you add the ready orange, even more magical things start to happen, look. See the way it naturally dries and dissolves out. So nice. So it was looking okay up until this point. And I was quite happy with it. And then some splashes. Um, I can see down the bottom there where the roots are forming. I shouldn't have taken the, the orange down that far. And I'm not sure if I even chose 
the natural normal orange that I used perhaps it was a bit too red so from the watercolors that gets scanned in into my computer and in Photoshop on a Wacom Cintiq I start doing the rendering so this is where I do all of the inking this is now digital inks on top of traditional watercolor uh, I feel I've got more control here and I can take it to wherever I want and I can get whatever thickness or thinness of ink I want I can use as a specific brush but yeah I do like rendering I do like line work but for the cover for this piece there was just too much going on There's too much distraction um, I think I'll do another video of the other covers just to show you where we ended up here it's looking good I do like the contrast with the matte black leaves and that blue is really popping lovely colours in the moon there coming from the fingertip but yeah there was nowhere really to put the text so as a piece without text it was okay but for a front cover maybe not so thank you for watching front cover for the graphic novel, The Light That Was Too Bright.